so let's get down to brass tacks here. What okay. a uh, what a year, man, for for the country, for you. Awful year for the country. Awful year for the country, but pretty good year for you. Good year for me. Yeah. Bad year for the country. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> take us back to election day, uh, because you had been doing Trump before. Yes. The, all up at the run up to the election with I, James Adomi. And James Adomi and I did the Trump versus Bernie tour, and then uh, I uh, election eve. Uh, so uh, a couple of days before that, I had done a show, uh, and I was hoping to burn the wig in a bucket, but you know, and like be done with it. Yeah. But I. Uh, Pretty early on, was basically was like this guy's gonna win. I just felt he was gonna win. I felt the inversion of what happened with Obama in 2008 in North Carolina, mm -hmm. where everyone said that he was, they weren't gonna vote for him, and then they went into the booth and the Obama effect. They voted for him, and nobody knew, and that's why the polling was off. And I think you know the same thing happened here in a different, which was people were ashamed to say they would vote for Donald Trump, and also I think there was a concerted effort actually to thwart the polling. So I think one of the things that's been underreported by the campaign was that they were encouraging people to fuck with the pollsters so that they could actually throw off the polling. Uh, to, giving, yeah, to, effect, to yeah. affect the strategy and, and actually kill, uh, you know, uh, you know, going to Michigan and, and Wisconsin and so on. So um, anyway, uh, we were there the night of the uh, election. I was on The View and actually Mario Cantone was performing and Mario did not know he would be the mooch. And um, <laughs> later on, uh, on the show, which you have to watch to know what I'm saying. <laughs> and um, so we, we were there and I remember uh, Joy Behar uh, was uh, on like her third martini. And the thing was, um, you know, remember Machado, the Miss Universe? Remember the whole thing right. with the Miss Universe? And so she was on that night and they initially had me coming on right after her. But she was a guest and she started sobbing. You know about what Trump did to her and how he treated her, and I turned to the producer. I go, I cannot go on right after her. As and Trump. she came off and she looked at me and she was like Donald Sutherland from the fucking uh, Body Snatchers. Snatcher. She was like, Woo! and uh, and I was like, no, 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 no. I'm like, it's not, it's not him. And um, so I went on and he actually uh, Juju Chang broke in with news and I tried to make a Juju B joke and nobody was into it. And uh, <laughs> if you watch the coach, you can hear me be like, well, oh, Juju B. Uh, like, people are like, don't, don't do that. You're, it's awful in many ways. And um, uh, she had won Ohio in the midst of it. And so I had to change the material because the whole bit was that Trump was going to be talking about what he would do after he lost. And so we changed the bit and I sort of had a mini meltdown. Uh, well, everybody uh, watched. Yeah, I started saying the country's lost to white supremacists, and you know what's in the muck. I'll tell you what's in the muck when you drain the swamp. It's me rolling around like a fascist pig. And <laughs> I think that's the first time that had happened on ABC. On, on the view, yeah. <laughs> yeah. On the view. So, and then the next day I woke up and went to do Howard Stern, and, uh, and I... Uh, I have to say, I, I think I knew in the back of my head he was going to win, but I had no real preparation for what was going to happen. So then I just got high for about four weeks and stayed in my apartment and uh, waited to figure out what to do.